All right, welcome everyone. We are Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Dr. Stone, Season 1, Episode 23. We had a All wonderful right. episode last week. Mm -hmm. Some wholesomeness with magma and... Senku's birthday. Yes, yes. It was very cool to see the bros kind of bond together mm -hmm. over some spelunking. Yep. Over, I mean, two of them over there, you know, natural love of rocks and, you know, metals yes. and stuff like that. And potentially their almost need to uh, spoon for warmth. Yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Senku was like, that was the worst case scenario mm, right definitely. there. Definitely. But yeah. us again, again, you freaking mad lad. I love You're that awesome. you set this up. It's yep. so wholesome and wonderful. Mm -hmm. And then seeing back in the past as to what actually made him think, mm -hmm. I really got to meet this guy. Yeah. This guy's legit. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's just, oh, that's so good. I, I love these little things that add so much to the kind of little, you know, kind of archetype tropes that the characters kind of mm -hmm. tend to fall into. And then these little wholesome moments that you realize that, yes, they may be shticks, but they're friends, dang That's it. That's right. They're bonding through survival and just finding a way to make some fun in this mad, mad world. The real treasure was the friends we made along the way. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. Come yep. on, dude. Uh-huh. Freaking Dr. Stone. They even made fun of the whole, like, power of friendship but thing in the case. But it's still true. It's still, still freaking true. true. Yeah. <laughs> so so now, But now they've got, like, tungsten and a whole bunch of other shit. Mm -hmm. so they and they've got do, an observatory And now, they've got too. an observatory. So they can do just about whatever. Yeah. So now it's going to be how much time are they going to need in order to set up and construct everything within the cellular device of their right. choosing. Yep. And uh, then how do they apply that? moving into uh, uh, the actual potential encounter. Even though we only have one episode after this, yeah. I'm guessing that they'll either, like, tease the encounter, the battle about right, to it's start. Right, like, this is a... This now begins, the war with the Sakata Yeah, Empire like winter or ending or something mm -hmm. like that. Yep. But uh, Spring is coming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Alright everyone, and be sure to go check out the reaction portion of the video in the description below, and then come back here for the discussion. Okay. Oh, this was All good. Right. This was good. So this was real we covered, good. We covered a lot of really good things within the process of yep. constructing mm -hmm. the the cell phone. And and I'm I'm sold like like because yep. when the whole idea of the cell phone was initially like introduced, I'm like, how? Right? Yep. Like that that's impossible. Like right. how are they going to actually do it? Yep. And what will it look like in the finished product? Right? right. And what we saw here is that there was a lot of little miracles that had to happen that were able to happen because they all work together and they have incredible yep. people with them and everything, yep. right? You know, and then and then that, that little bit of being able to find the tungsten and, and all that. But even when it was done, right, it was incredibly complicated, incredibly intricate, right? Yep. It wasn't just a thing where they have a little smartphone, you know, yep. in the traditional sense, right. right? It's that we do have wireless communication now. Right. Right. That's the but, important part. And that's the important thing, yep. right? But, you know, a handheld device it is not unless exactly. that was all like the tower which potential like maybe the next episode will go into that well um, that's going to be something that they're going to need to simplify too is they can't go mobile then that's what i'm guessing they're going to have to go it in, in specific locations but either way crazy yeah um one of the really cool things i think that dr stone has been doing mm -hmm. thematically that I, I think we need to like give it praise for because this is a very, a very cool thing about this show that, uh, well, because I haven't watched a show that's based around the progression with regards to science. Hmm. There's ones that celebrate the exciting aspect of science yeah. and what it what it is capable of in it, but there's very few that go into the idea of progression. Mm -hmm. And when a character in this case, in Doctor Stone, is in their specific. Um, their specific niche. They're they're doing their thing that they can do, and Senku kind of goes, "Yeah, you can do that, Chrome. Right. Yeah, you can do that, Kasaki. Yeah, high five. Exactly. Yeah. That yeah. kind of recognition, that kind of respect, yep. that aspect of him going, you've found your area, you're able to succeed and progress in, mm -hmm. and I'm going to recognize and trust you. Yeah. In order to be able to handle that, like, mm -hmm. oh my god, delegation. Like it's yeah, it's one of those things where 
like the power of friendship, right? It was brought up in the previous episode. Yep. And and it's something that anime is definitely no stranger to. Nope. <laughs> but but usually, you know, when I think of the power of friendship being used in sort of like the battle shonen kinds of things and whatnot, right. usually it's well one within a system that is not based in reality at mm -hmm. the very least. And, and even within that system, usually when the power of friendship is brought up, it's then to break the own the, the system that has even been made in this fictional universe in order to allow something to happen, right? Sure. And for for emotional narrative and everything, it works great, right? It, it's, it's wonderful, mm -hmm. but it is usually a disconnect where you switch from being in the technical narrative to being in the emotional narrative. Sure. And, the, and there's nothing wrong with that, right? You can totally do that in a story and it's, and it's wonderful. In Dr. Stone, though, because they're using science and because they're using actual real-life science and everything, it's done in parallel. It doesn't need to be a transition, right? right. It's both. And and that... Right. Uh, it's, it's, the, it's the dissonance you feel when you play a video game where the people that created the gameplay didn't have anything to do with how the story was created. Sure. So basically, if you have yeah. uh -huh. the gameplay being something that is desynchronized basically mm -hmm. from the actual story elements you feel jarred and pulled out of it when these kinds of moments happen right but in dr stone no it's it's mm -hmm. it's very Package simply deal. packaged together yep. yes and all these characters we were talking about giving praise to asigiri again before the episode started because of the stuff that in the previous uh -huh. episode happened one of the things that they've done with chrome and kasaki that is very unique to them, and they addressed it here, is that they showed, though the show basically showed that they have different skills than Senku, but there is definitely this element of crossover where Senku sure. does not have the craftsman's hands of Kasaki, mm -hmm. but he knows in some ways how a lot of the things that Kasaki does, how it would work. Right. So mm -hmm. that's a... That's a ridiculous mm -hmm. bar yep. that Kasaki will never really fully uh, reach. Yep. He has to learn it, and mm -hmm. he's an older guy, so he's, you know, he'll have to kind of humble himself be it, mm -hmm. to learn those things. Chrome has the curiosity of Senku, That's the right. spirit, the fire, mm -hmm. but he does not have all the memories and all the knowledge right. of he having a have world the with the internet, you yeah. know? Mm -hmm. like, like, Senku has so many advantages to him. And yet, Senku specifically for both of them acknowledges, yep. you know, you guys mm -hmm. take this. This is yours. You'll figure right. it out. Like, like Senku is able to draw up the glass freaking right, pump right. thing. <laughs> yeah. And he's just like, yeah, this is going to be nuts. But he did not tell Kasaki how to make it. Right. Mm -hmm. He said, that's your thing. You mm -hmm. can do it. You'll figure it out. He yep. again came by and gave him a little bit of a pep talk, but he didn't need that. Right. What's mm -hmm. so cool about this is we are getting characters who are, yes, underpowered compared to the overpowered main character. Sure. And yet the overpowered mm -hmm. main character needs to delegate exactly. specific things yes. to them. And so uh, they, uh, in the narrative, mm -hmm. are essential in order yep. for the conflict to be yep. resolved. So right. in this Minecraft, you know, kind of mm -hmm. civilization building, science yep. experimenting, wacky show mm -hmm. with a character that, yes, is the overpowered protagonist, uh -huh. we get the rare instance where it's like, yes, in the areas where I have skill crossover with you, I am going to delegate that right. to you, and, and it makes sense why. And how much of an awesome lesson is that for life in general? Oh, yeah. Where, because, oh, yeah. Because, because it's Oof. not just that he's delegating, right? But it's mm -hmm. it's an acknowledgement and acceptance and an understanding on for each person on an individual level yes. of what they uniquely bring to the table, right? Mm -hmm. The fact that, again, when he went to go make the, the, the batteries, right? He had his little, like, he rhyme song, song for it. That you know, so like, great. like, that's great. That's something that no one else probably would have no. thought to do or would have, like, had, like, the practice with doing. So it's just mm -hmm. like, once he figures out what he needs to do, he's just like, all right, I do this, this, da 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 da
because like okay even if we say as people are <sighs> in a dr stone world 3700 uh, right. years yes. in the future we might not be senku we might not be you know kasaki mm -hmm. right what do we do in our own lives in order to improve our lives and the lives of the people around us well we can hopefully figure that out and mm -hmm. when we do we can then find those things even if they seem really simple yep. that maybe no one else but us could do you know right and even more so when you're tackling a project of this nature as a group like with mm -hmm. with multiple people the aspect of then recognizing the individuals and their like like their efforts and results mm -hmm. like that's a yep. completely separate thing to recognize effort and results because you you have to recognize results like as well right because you can do the kind of the nice thing quote unquote and be like uh -huh. good effort good effort buddy yeah. you need both you, right you, really you definitely need both. need both so when they are you know making these things happen and stuff you need to be like yeah suika mm -hmm. you go you yep. make that gold right. wire right like, exactly absolutely even if it's something that is that is just sort of menial and tedious like okay we're gonna you know all right here we go right, right? it's still important right and and the power of a high five right Mm. that's that's mm. incredibly effective yeah. like you know recognition oh babies cry, cry for it and grown men die for it, it. like oh, because i got chills man i because, knew the line was coming like, i was just like, like oh here we all go the, all the jobs that i've ever had right where where i ended up say leaving it yeah. was not because of the actual job yep. it was because of not being appreciated or recognized by the people who were you know organizing yep. and managing it yep. right people don't quit jobs they quit managers exactly and it's not and and that doesn't have to mean that the manager was some horrible dick right mm -hmm. you know it can just be something where yep. there wasn't an, there wasn't appreciation and recognition yep. right so and, true and then there were the times when there was a manager that did do those things even if maybe the job wasn't paying as well as some other right. ones right it was something where i was like nope yep i'm i'm there yeah let's let's do it what do you need done i'll i'll yep. I'll, I'll come and ask you what you need done because i want to do as as good of a job as i can because right. you actually appreciate it right and because senku loves science so much mm -hmm. there's this small aspect of his character that i have to wonder they're kind of just showing by repetition and it's not really something that we're supposed to be told about really at any point mm -hmm. is that he gets a little bit of excitement seeing other people's reactions if you will to yeah. the wonder and craziness right. of science. So mm -hmm. when he draws up the pump thing, he's like, hey, hey, look at this. And then yeah. he gets a little bit of excitement seeing them go, oh, like, right. you know, and it's all yeah. the anime, you know, yep. over the top reactions and stuff. But specifically when they go and then go, no, 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 stay out of my lab. Mm -hmm. I got this, this is mine. He kind of yeah. goes, oh, yes. <laughs> because <laughs> right. like in his backstory, we don't see him with, like anyone who's doing it at the same level as he is. Right. Taiju was following him around and doing mm -hmm. this stuff. And Yuzoriha was also like, mm -hmm. they were involved yeah. in it. Right. But they were not, yeah, they were not science users. Right. Like this is mm -hmm. something that I feel like it could be very easy to forget that Taiju and Yuzoriha spent so much time with Senku. They were mm -hmm. good friends, right? Right. But they were not science users. And, and because of the time that they were in, when, like, I mean, we didn't really see too much of, like, how all of that went, but I can imagine that it very much would have been, like, a thing of, oh, Senku, you're doing this? Yeah, let's help you out. Why not? Yeah, because you know? we want to spend time with you. We want to spend time with we you. We like you. Yeah. 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 Cool. Awesome. Right? But in this situation, because, in, at least in their case, it, it is a matter of life survival. and death, survival and everything, yeah. people... The, even if they're not like a science user like say chrome right. or or a master craftsman like, like kasaki, kasaki yeah. they're still fully engaged in what's going right. on especially if they're people that haven't seen this stuff happen before right, right? it's yeah because like like senku was totally happy you know when he was in his lab even before he met taiju and yuzuriha mm -hmm. to just be doing his thing you know yep. right but in the same way that kasaki maybe wanted to have some crafting yeah, buddies yeah yeah Maybe Senku did too. Maybe Senku did too. Yep. And now he I does. I almost think definitely he did. Oh yeah. Like uh -huh. he definitely did. Yep. Yep. Because there's there's something that um uh, there's something that I've seen with people who are super smart, like they're when they're really smart, mm -hmm. is it's exhausting for them to translate. Sure. And this is something that Senku has to do because of the narrative. This is just something because right. of the the meta narrative of 
there are people like us who are dumb dums who don't know anything about right. science and stuff, yeah. and we need it translated by mm-hmm. Gen, basically. Yep, that's that's cool. Well, translated by Senku to Gen uh-huh. for us, yeah, and then maybe retranslated again because right. that was still too complicated. Uh, right, yeah. right, exactly. But Senku, we don't see him ever getting. I would say realistically a little bit frustrated with that because Mm. of this show's main theme of the wonder surrounding science yes so if we take that literally and remove the meta aspect of it it is that senku is so happy to get to share science with people that Mm -hmm. he doesn't mind the slightest bit translating it Uh even though he's a super genius right like that shows something of character for him that is so good Mm. that when we have moments where suika is like you know, probably the least like smart, useful kind of person in terms right. of the like, like. Like, how old is she? Like eight? You she's know? a kid. She's a little yeah, kid, exactly. But she's doing the little, the mm-hmm. little things there. That's yep. that's really important. Uh huh. So she gets a freaking high five too. In fact, yeah. no, 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 no. All y'all, we're going to put the furnace thing and make that our next top priority. So we get the coal ash, mm-hmm. and we're gonna put you guys right next to it there because yep. I'm looking out for you guys, mm-hmm. looking out for you. Yeah, that so was awesome. It, like, and I love yeah. that the I love that Ugh. the village leader noticed that he was like yes you're being a leader he's like yeah yeah you're being a leader it's not just it's not just that you're doing your thing because because Mm -hmm. one of the ways that like and maybe the people in the village don't necessarily have as much like experience with this because (laughs) smart people aren't usually at the top of the food chain but Uh, that is true when you have the smart person that is wanting to do it just because it sort of tickles their own fancy you know and not actually because they're wanting to like say help other people it's just sort of a puzzle right yeah not that the puzzle can't be helpful when they solve it, but hmm. you know it it gets it can get a lot colder, right? <laughs> and in this situation, <laughs> Senku, well, warmed things up literally, yep. right? For and the whole village, for the whole village, yep. and that's something where like. I would not be surprised since since it's already the idea has been broached with um the 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 scout um. Homura. Um, yeah, yeah. For, for the Sakasa Empire, oh, okay. I would yeah, not be like, surprised yeah, yeah. if there if it came to a point where some of the other people from the Sakasa Empire come in to to conquer, mm-hmm. and then they see all this stuff and they're like, I mean, I was thinking that yeah, we destroy everything and we'll just you know be our you know roving tribe of you know hunter gatherers and all that stuff, but kind of missed having a. A furnace and things like that. This, this actually, Sakasa. Are you sure? Like, this seems pretty good. Yeah, I, I, I think I might be hoping too much, at least in the immediate sense. Uh-huh. But, but maybe, like, maybe way we, further well, down. Well, the right, road. but for people like Homura, Homura I think that makes, sure. makes uh-huh. sense. It was yeah. one at a time, one right. person here and there, mm-hmm. slowly but surely. Yep. But oh my god the aspect of it being this thing where this found family this mm-hmm. uh power of friendship this double encouragement down on that yeah. yeah double down at dr stone you don't need to make fun of it don't because, be bashful like yeah yeah, yeah. Own admit it. what yeah. you are it's great and have a lot of fun doing it yep I, I think that that's maybe what takes this show from being what it kind of does kind of repeat itself with being with little bits of montages of exposition, you know, oh, uh-huh. like structurally, that's a little bit, you know, that's a little bit of a weak foundation with regards to a story. Cause you need character motivation, right. all and, the other stuff surrounding it to make it so that it's not so we just care. so that we care so that it's not just the puzzle. Cause the puzzle is exactly. interesting. Right? right. But if that was all that it was devoid of the heart of right. the show, then, uh-huh. you know, that'd be fine, I guess. So, but, so mm-hmm. this show, when it goes into the heart stuff, it, it knows yeah. how to do it and it gives it in ways that are not ones that we would exactly expect i right. think i'm surprised at this point it's not really as surprising but mm. i'm i'm really surprised how little we've gotten from someone like kohaku in the mm, last sure. little bit of episodes but i was so surprised how much we we got with gen like yeah. gen not yeah. being someone mm-hmm. that's in the science area of things and yet i understand and respect his character so much mm-hmm. chrome i loved the development when we started getting it for him back in the middle part of the season and just as it's kept going i'm like yep. oh my god like yep. chrome's one of my favorite characters mm-hmm. freaking kasaki yeah like having yeah. a little bit of emotional backstory here where he's like i wasn't like bullied necessarily but i wasn't respected and recognized mm-hmm. for what i did so yep. i made things that were that useful people could appreciate, that people you know? could appreciate. yeah exactly 
but that still never attracted anyone to his side to mm -hmm. do this stuff along with him. And it certainly never scratched that itch of being artistic with yes. it, of, of really pushing, pushing his limits. Yeah, pushing his limits of yeah. what kind of stuff can I make? Because it was just fix the bridge, make some shields, make things that people you know. need. Yeah, yeah, probably the bridge was the, one of the most exciting things he ever made. Because he's Probably. like, you know, mm -hmm. I have People to make sure that this every day. Exactly. You know. uh -huh. Exactly. There's a lot of things that go into making sure that the tension balance of what have you, sure. all this thing is there, mm -hmm. you know, how strong or thick the wood has to be to support people's mm -hmm. weights, how separate, like little things like that that he might get excited about. But yeah, mm -hmm. craft. He yeah. wants, he wants to get into the, mm -hmm. the meat of it but oh my god this episode yeah. was wonderful and we had the op come in at the end yeah we there. had the op come in at the end for like like okay as oh, far hi, as yo sakai yeah. good morning wow like like it's almost it's almost not fair how easy it is yeah. to just be like hey when you have a killer op especially if it's the first mm -hmm. one you yeah know, and, and like the one that sticks in your mind the, the fastest definitely to just bring it back in for a point that's awesome yeah. and because this is dr stone no it's not for some sort of like battle with sukasa or anything no. <laughs> it's for everyone coming together and put all putting yeah. all the pieces together oh. to make a cell phone a in this freaking, stone world freaking like, wireless yeah. telecommute yeah yep. well, yep. just wireless communications device like i i can't wait to see what happens next and how they use it and stuff because that's <laughs> and and the limitations next, of it too, next one's a computer you know? we're just making we're just gonna make a flat out <laughs> computer like that that's that's what's next. I, I mean, if you're at this point now, it, it doesn't make sense to do much else. No. Like, like Sukasa, like so, so way in the future, right? Yeah, They've yeah. moved from this point. The Sukasa Empire has captured some of these devices, right? Sure. It's pretty dangerous, right? <laughs> he goes up. Sukasa goes up to like his smart people, and he's like, right. "The technology exists. I just need <laughs> you to make it smaller." Yes, yes. Like, Senko was able to build this in a cave, cave with, with a box of scraps. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Like, what a freaking setup. Like, like, that was so good. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm so excited to see where the show goes because oh, it got it's oh, got the heart so right good. and oh. it's and all the science stuff it's like going to places that I never would have expected at the beginning of the show like oh. I thought this show was going to be like Minecraft oh. basically just for a long time where it's like I, you know we build some kind of cool stuff but it's still right 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 I thought I thought it was going to be like the 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 YouTube uh guy who basically oh, yeah. just shows himself like with hand tools like building like a house yeah, or like you know play or... stuff mm -hmm. and things like that and yeah. it was more it was more i would say the craft craftsman than the scientist right. and yeah in some ways that's where this isn't minecraft right it's the scientist yeah he applies critical thinking in the scientific method oh man and his memories to make just stuff that we all know and have now, but don't understand how it works or appreciate how that it works. And we're getting all just fired up about like humanity and the earth and yeah. all this stuff. And it's like, I so, love this show. So there was, there was a video I saw where there was this guy that was trying to disprove the idea that humans couldn't have built Stonehenge with like hand tools and things like that. Mm, so mm -hmm. he basically showed that he could move like a, like some, some crazy, like hundred ton, you know stone block yeah just with himself yeah like and you know putting rocks under it and getting like levers and things like oh, that all kinds of all kinds of stuff, stuff. Yeah. and it was it was crazy right uh -huh. and you like filling sand underneath it and then using water to wash it away so that it would like do certain things and like i would love to see if it ever got to that point in this show where it's like we're just gonna build like a, a like, city like a city you know <laughs> like, like a walled massive right you know, you know like I don't even think that makes sense, really. No, it'd be more like it'd be more like if somehow they needed to like, I don't know, keep everybody warm in a better way well, than they already. I don't well, know. Well, sure, but, but but like, what if they start making like engine technology and they make like a car? You know, they just they're like, yeah, <laughs> buy Sukasa. Sukasa fun chasing after us. Sukasa, like, we're leaving trails for you. It's great, like, but you, it'll like, never happen. You, you realize Sukasa? Like, we have made like three of these, right? Wait. Yeah, yeah, we're already at your base right now. How are you guys doing over there? And yeah, Sukasa's like <laughs> chasing us around and stuff with his ape strength and stuff. <laughs> I can run, you know, twenty-two miles an hour. You know, for, you can for eight drive hours. forty. Like, yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, what, what's your deal? Like, <laughs> oh, a tree. Oh no, we slowed down five miles an hour. And you know, we figured out how to just make them run on solar. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just so excited 
to have this show continue. I know that there's a second season that's been announced. We don't know when it's oh, coming, man. but we got one more episode. It's going to be so much fun. Good stuff. But y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get on early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there. And all this comes with Discord access. So you can chat with us and the community there about this show, about anime in general. You can also talk with Jacob about the sci-fi novel that he wrote. Yes, sci-fi, science fiction. Um, But it's awesome. It's called Battle Lines. It's on Amazon for purchase. If you're interested, the link to Amazon is in the description down below. Yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.